A perfect day in the enchanted garden. Sounds like trains heading into town. I wonder what delights he has on board today. <laughs> According to the locomotive timetable, you are exactly on scheduled time train. I need to give you a quick check over before you leave for your next journey train. Hmm, your engine's looking good. Yep, your wheels are fine. And so's your funnel. <laughs> oh, my word, I don't like the look of your heating gauge. It's sky high. If the reading is high, there is a possibility that train's internal workings could go into meltdown. Yes, I know that, Brian. Worse still is the distinct possibility that he could go into overdrive and thereby lose control. Shh, Brian, you're upsetting train. Uh, oh, yes, sorry. Uh, uh, nothing to worry about, Train. <laughs> I'll top up the water tank. That should cool your engine down, and then you can be on your way. I would seriously advise detaining Train until he's fitted with a new water cooler. He's not going far, Brian, and he does have quite a few urgent deliveries to collect. <laughs> You'll be fine now, Train. <laughs> See you soon. If you don't mind my saying, I think that was a most unwise decision, Mr Rusty. I hope he won't be long. I'm desperate to get the pump I ordered. I urgently need the box of oil paints which Trine promised to pick up for me. I ordered some storage jars to pickle my gherkins in. If Train doesn't get here soon, my gherkins will go off. What time is Train due in, Mr Rusty? Well, should have been in half an hour ago, Ermintrude. And it'll be dark soon. He's usually as regular as clockwork. Well, he can't have gone far. He did have a few technical problems at the start of his journey. I did recommend that Train should remain here until he was fully repaired, but Mr Rusty thought better of it. Oh, I should never have let Train go in the first place. He might be lost or broken down in the middle of nowhere. Try not to worry. He's sure to turn up soon. I'm sorry, Florence. I am worried. I'm going to search for him. Like, you got a flat tire, man? I'll manage. Uh, somehow, Dylan. Ooh. Ooh. Mr Grimsdale's right to be worried. We've waited all night for train and he's still not shown up. Maybe we should split up and search for him. We could search in the age-old manner of laying an ear to the ground in order to estimate the distance of an approaching vehicle. What exactly are you talking about, Brian? I shall demonstrate, Hermintrude. Ears to the ground, team! Man, this is way too heavy for me. <laughs> <sighs> Anything, Florence? Um, 
I can hear a sort of snuffly snoring sound. Oh. <laughs> that will be Dylan. <gasps> Shh. I can hear something else. It's a low, <laughs> rumbling sound. <laughs> now, you must count slowly. One, two... Each number you count is a kilometre. That's how you estimate how far away the approaching vehicle is. Oh, OK, then. Um, three... <clears throat> I'd prefer to search for train by using a map of his regular train routes. Seems like a far more reliable plan to me, Mr Rusty. I'll join you too, Mr Rusty. Scuffling along on the ground will ruin my hat. <laughs> I'm all ears. <laughs> I, I can't hear anything. And my ears hurt, man. I can't hear anything either. <gasps> Shh! Wait a minute. I can hear something. It's heading this way. Let's go! Yes! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> According to the map, this is one of the regular routes that train takes. Ooh. Ooh. Do you hear that? Yes. Could that be train? Uh, he's usually a lot noisier than that. Oh, it's Mr Grimsdale. No, uh, Mr Grimsdale. Did you spot train on your travels? I must have driven miles, but I never caught sight of him. And now I've got two flat tyres. Oh, dear. It's getting closer. Ooh. It's really close. Oh, really? You're not still doing that silly tracking nonsense. Oh! Ah! Oh! 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 He'll never be able to stop at that speed. Well, somebody's got to board train and shut him down. My old bones wouldn't make it. I'm, like, too sleepy. The wind would blow my hat away. I don't think I'm quick enough. I could jump onto train, but I wouldn't have a clue how to stop him. I can tell you what to do, Mr Grimsdale. The first thing you must do is open train's steam valve. Without steam, he'll soon come to a stop. Uh-oh. Oh! 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 Oh, my goodness. Man, will we, like, ever see either of them again? Can you believe it? The steam valve's stuck. <laughs> Let's see if a little magic will help. Yes. Oh, got it. Uh, thanks, Zebedee. My pleasure, Mr Grimsdale. I've opened your steam valve train. You'll slow down soon. <laughs> oh, 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 that's train. Oh, you're oh, oh, what a relief. <laughs> we thought we'd lost you forever. We were so <sighs> worried. It worked, Mr Rusty, though I couldn't have done it without a bit of help from Zebedee. Well done, Mr Grimsdale. Here's what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> my pump. Oh, now I'll be able to pump up my tyres and ride home. Excellent! I'll be pickling gherkins all week! <laughs> Thanks for my paint, Strain. I promise to paint a portrait of you in oils very soon. <laughs> <laughs> and this is for Train. Oh, am I right in thinking that's a P4GH self-locking locomotive water cooler, Mr Rusty? Spot on, Brian. I ordered it for train last time he was in town. Ah, oh, now I understand why you were so anxious for train to make that journey. If he hadn't picked up the cooler, I could never have fixed him, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Train back to normal. He should be running on his schedule timetable from now on. It's time to party! <laughs> I wish it was time for bed. 